war in southeast villagers deserted their homes as soldiers hunt for eastern security network members <laughs> they will keep hunting they will keep hunting see how many times have they stormed the southeast how many times this will make it the tenth time yet they are not getting any reasonable results i thought they said the people those people they they caught are eastern security network members those people they were presenting fake people they were presenting that they are eastern security network members i told them that they are deceiving themselves that they cannot see the Eastern Security Network members left alone being able to apprehend them or hold them by the hand. Let them go to the forest. That is where they are. Many soldiers that have gone there, they know what they saw. And they don't even pray to go there again. Because to them, going to that forest in search of Eastern Security Network is just like going to Sambisa Forest. In fact, this country is so crazy. So crazy. This is what Senator Uhwebowa was saying, the former ECOWAS chairman, that look at the time, the, the, the apparatus, the machines they're supposed to make use of to go in search of the criminal bandits in Sambisa Forest, in Borno, in Meduguri, they are using that time and the machines and tools and apparatus for people who are out to see and see how to assist them. Hmm. We lack wisdom. That is what I see. We lack wisdom. Because if we don't lack wisdom, we wouldn't have allowed this to happen. And you know, the kind of president that we have is the kind of president who only understand the language of war as well. Because he is a, sword, a, a soldier, a general. So we're supposed to be calling him to order. So he will understand that it is not time for this that it is time for this but if we don't you will believe that we are comfortable with the situation so we should deal with it but we are not we are not we just have to speak up we just have to fight for our rights do you understand? You just have to fight for a right and say no to this unnecessary. Okay? Say no to this unnecessary because to me it doesn't pay. We are only calling for war and it will not pay us. One um, traditional ruler once said it that he saw it coming. He saw it coming, he saw the youth pursuing, pursuing, but our leaders, we are just running. That is during the war. We don't pray, we don't pray that it comes to pass. It will never come to pass. The war is gone, it's gone for good, and it will never come to our dwellings. In the name of Jesus. Those that are praying for it, they will be disappointed by the special grace of God. It's so painful that this administration that we supported have to turn out to pay us this way. All right. Let's see what we have here. All is not well in Igbo land, and it doesn't appear that peace will not return 
to the region anytime soon. Not because there is a war going on, but because the Nigerian army and other security agencies are hell-bent on riding the region of the activities of the Eastern Security Network, IPOP militant arm. The Eastern Security Network, on the other hand, is determined not to give up on its operations in the Southeast. Instead of giving up, they are equally talking tough and daring the Nigerian army. Alleged members of the Eastern Security Network arrested by the military. So, in the wake of the incident attacks on government facilities and jailbreaks in the region, which the government blames on Eastern Security Network, the army have been carrying out regular raids on rural villages in Southeast to fish out alleged Eastern Security Network members. So far, the raids have led to the deaths of several youths and many more have been arrested and climbed into detention. According to some people who spoke to Sahara reporters, the army have been embarking on weekly raid on rural locations across Igbo land and arrested people indiscriminately. This has forced many youths in the affected areas to flee to the state capital for refuge. Some of the villages in Imo State, where the military carry out constant raids, include Ogota and Ohaji Egbema communities. Others are in Osu and Olu local government areas, as well as Oru East and Oru West local government areas, and Agua and Uzombi communities. Many of the youth in these villages have now fled to Wiri to escape being arrested by the military. In Anambra State, residents in Aguata and Njikoka have fled to Oka or Nicha or any of the major cities in the state. I have to move my things in January and I relocated to Wiri. I have been here since. It is true that people in Olo, Osu, and neighboring communities are moving to Owerri. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. It's getting hot by the day. Um, you see, I will say that it is the Nigerian soldiers that are even causing the unrest. Mm. They are the ones causing the unrest. We are just disturbing ourselves over what is not. Disturbing ourselves over what is not. Why our Nigerian soldiers are just there, you know, causing the mayhem. Causing the mayhem, making us to believe that it is those people. Whereas they are the one. Let me hear from you and know what you have to say about all this. If you are new, click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.